Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah the prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said iyyakum wa dhan iyyakum wa dhan the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said what means beware of suspicion and then our messenger salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi went on to tell us uh, why you know that he gave us the illa or he gave us the sabab the reason behind this because of all the wickedness that accompanies the feeling or the act of suspicion that when you are suspicious of someone whether that be your spouse whether that be your muslim brother or sister or whoever it is that the suspicion it in it in 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 and of itself breeds a lot of wickedness iyakum wa dhan fa inna al dhan akthab al hadith he said for verily suspicion is the worst kind of the worst kind of uh uh, uh speech ahabat fi allah we need to go to the sharh and see what the ulama sunnah say but in general suspicion suspicion can be both uttered it's manifested on the tongue but it comes from an internal uh feeling you know it's a feeling it's a a sense or a, it, it emanates from a sense so for example a person may see things that cause them to be suspicious of another person or cause them to later become envious of another uh of another person envious meaning that they see them gaining something maybe they've gained wealth maybe they gained property maybe they gained vehicles maybe they've gained wives maybe they've gained uh this sister has a handsome husband this uh person has uh you know traveled or this person has done this this person has done that this person is very good in iman this person has something else whatever the reason that causes a person to be envious of another those things they begin internally so it's very important before they're manifested on their tongue or through their actions showing actions or speaking and acting upon that envy that they have of someone else meaning the envy as the ulama mentioned it is to to des- one of the types of envy is to desire is to desire that the ni'mah izalat al-ni'mah ala ghair you know to 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 remove the blessing from someone else meaning that you desire when you have envy of someone you wish that their blessings are removed for example you say oh so and so has a beautiful car new car man I, you know you know i i i don't really like that i just kind of wish he would you know something happens or you hear that something happens to it and you're actually rejoicing in your heart wa iyadun billah wa iyakum min dhalik so what is some of the prescriptions we can use to deal with this envy to deal with this suspicion cuz it's easy for us to say don't be suspicious don't be envious you know don't be jealous of others but those feelings can creep they creep up on you they come from inside the heart they come because you see the nama and maybe you feel you don't have that many blessings you don't have that same nama you wanted that and they achieved it or they got it uh or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored them with that so how do we deal with that we deal with that with the dua we deal with that with the dua with the supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and kathir to adhkar and when we see that we are beginning to feel that because you're human you're going to get negative feelings don't think that it's unnatural for you to have to experience the sense of envy to experience a type of suspicion to experience negative traits you're a human being you were born uh and and born with the aptitude or with the ability and with the in, innate nature to sin you will sin mankind spills bloodshed as the angel said 
to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in Jannah. They, they, they said about when Adam alayhi salatu wa salam or uh, 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 they, uh, sorry, when the shaitan, the malaika said uh, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Fasjudu uh, Adam, Fasjudu, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them to make sajud. Fasjudu illa iblis. And they they made sujood except Iblis. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was creating Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, they asked, you know, uh, it was asked that, uh, are you making someone who will spill blood throughout the earth? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I know that which you do not know. The point being in Habatifillah, that we all sin. And we all have this innate, innate uh, nature and fitra that at times uh, we are whispered to by the shaitan and we become corrupted. And we have to fight those feelings. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, <clears throat> Kulu ibn Adam khatta. All the children of Adam, they commit sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. And so, it's imperative that we safeguard ourselves, protect ourselves, prevent ourselves by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and especially when these whisperings from the shaitan or these whisperings from your own nafs come to you and you become suspicious and envious of people. When we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.